Welcome to another FL Studio 21 Beginners Tutorial. In this video, we are going to be looking at how to record in FL Studio 21. So if you are a beginner, make sure to watch this video to the end and consider subscribing. In FL Studio 21, you can record drums, guitar, vocals, synths, and so on. And everything that we are going to talk about is applicable to each of them. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go to Option and click on Audio Settings. Here we are going to select our interface. This is where your mic, instrument, or synth is plugged into. It can be any audio interface or sound card. I'm sure FL Studio 21 is not picky. Then after we have selected the device down here, we are going to set our buffer length. The buffer length is set so that we don't get any latency, or maybe to make the latency less noticeable. A latency is just a short period of delay between when an audio signal enters a system and when it emerges. So while recording, we don't want any latency, especially if you want to hear your voice or the instrument while recording. If there is a very significant amount of latency, it tends to disorganize the artist or the producers. Just imagine when you speak and you don't hear it, till about 10 seconds. So to avoid this, anywhere from 200 to 250 will be okay. You can go lower depending on your computer, but anything higher will cause a very noticeable amount of latency. And further down, you can set which track you want the metronome to be in. Then if you don't want the metronome, if it's distracting, you can turn it off here. You can also turn on or off the countdown before recordings. So now we are going to start recording. To record an audio into FL Studio 21, we have to select a track on the playlist and set up a recording link. We are going to select this first track, right click on it, go to track mode and choose audio track. Then here you can select any audio insert track in your mixer that you want. Now before you start recording, you have to select your input source, which is your mic. You can select it here and also here from the mixer. This two things actually does the same thing. We are going to select the input one. When you select your input, this warning is going to pop up. Just click yes. Now, if you click here, you will see the record settings. If you record with plugins like Auto-Tune, Reverb and so on, here is where you choose if you want your audio recorded with the effects or just raw. And then down here in the audio settings, you can set the audio monitoring if you want to hear your voice while recording or not, you can select it here. Then here in this icon, we are going to arm record. You can also do it from the mixer to do the same thing. Now we are ready to record. To start recording, just hit the record button here. Now before you start recording, here are things that you have to keep in mind. Number one, you can also record note events, automation, and so on. To select which one you want, just write, click on the record button. Number two, if you want to record on the same track again, all you have to do is hit the arm record button and it automatically creates a group track for you. Number three, you can select a portion of your track, click on the loop record, and once you start recording, it starts and stops on the portion you selected. This is very useful if you want to nail a particular part of your song. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and tell me what you think in the comments.